going on guys, it's Cyber Horn 92 here, in today's video we're going to be doing a deck profile of my friend Charles, uh, what deck are we going to do by the way? Uh, so this is the Chimera slash Illusionist branded version, um, what I think will be the better version of branded if they decide to ban gimmick puppet and stuff like that, because mm -hmm. uh, this is more focused on putting negates on the board, mm -hmm. uh, pretty cool. Alright, ready when you are man. So, I play for the main deck. I start off with three copy of the Mira Sword Knight. Uh, this card is, like, the best card uh, when it comes to the Illusionist version uh, part of the deck. Uh, this card allows you to um, summon from your deck a monster that uh, lists Chimera Fusion on it by tributing it. And uh, in the graveyard, if you control Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast... It is a, neg a monster negate, so it's very, very, very good. Um, and then I follow it up. I played three copies of Cornfield. Uh, I really don't know how to pronounce the second word in this guy's name. Uh, I've been trying to pronounce it. Uh, this card is, you know, the starter for the deck. It discards to add a monster that lists Chimera Fusion in it. And then if you control Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast, I can banish it. Um, when you activate an effect that targets a card I control and negate it. So, you know, these are, you know, the two best cards in the deck. Um, you play two copies of Big Wing Baphomet. This is the card you summon off of uh, the Mira Sword Knight. This has two powerful effects. Uh, the first effect is that on summon, it can search for a level four beast and uh, or a Chimera Fusion. Um, and when it's sent to the graveyard as fusion material, I can target an illusionist and summon it back. So really two important effects. And then for the beast I'm playing, I'm playing the one, um, Gazelle, the King of Mythical Claws. This card's really good. Um, it allows branded fusion for the one card combo. Um, it or it's technically, you need discards and stuff, but that's not the important part. Uh, it's a one card combo. Card allows you to, when it's entered the graveyard as fusion material, search for an illusionist, and then on normal, uh, on normal special, it can search for a uh, level five fiend or a uh, chimera fusion. And the other beast I'm playing is the one, the only Spriggan's kit. Uh, this is a level four beast, which means you can search it off of um, the big wing Befferment. So that's kind of cool interaction. Um, Kind of why it allows you to search for uh, Brandon in red or Brandon in white. Usually, is what you're going to search off this. Uh, and the one Chimera Fusion. This card can add itself back on top of it. So this is really good because it is a fusion spell. Um, add itself back so it can make a Chimera on your end board, which is really nice. Uh, and then we all know the boy. Triple copies of all now. D don't you love them? We all love them. Uh, then I play one copy of Albion, one copy of Tribrigade Mercurier, and uh, two copies of uh, Alibur. I only play two, because this is not the card you want to normal summon. You want to specialist off of um, Branded Opening, because your um, normal summon for the deck is going to be the Mira Sword Knight. So that is it. I play for the you know uh, Chimera and Branded Monsters. I followed up with three copies of Branded Fusion. Uh, three copies of Branded Opening, Consistency, you want to see these cards. Uh, one Branded in Red, one Branded Lost, and I don't have this card, but one copy of Branded in White. Um, this card is really, really good. Uh, it's a part of the combo. It allows you to it's your search off of uh, Spriggan's Kit, so you can end on uh, Mirror Jade, which is really important. The other engine I uh, decided to put in was the Edgemp engine. Uh, I decided to play this engine because it allows you to A, break boards, uh, and B, it allows you to play through Ash a little bit better. It also gives your Illusionist monsters uh, really good effects, so you can use them even if you draw them and you have to normal some Alibur, for example. Uh, you can use them to uh, fusion off and kind of do, um, you know, that type of play. Uh, and then the last six cards in the deck, I'm playing 43, I believe, um, are three copies of Raiden and three copies of Super Poly. I think these are just really good generic cards in the Brandon Despia strategy. Um, 
And then I play triple co uh, double copies of Mirror Jade for the extra deck. Um, uh, and then I follow that up with uh, one copy of Lubelion. I was originally playing two, but I really think that like one is just kind of necessary because your extra is really tight. Uh, took up to Albion. Um, it's really good to send. It uh, allows you to give a uh, grind game recursion, and I was grinding against a flu player the other day when playing this deck, and I was just um, able to grind because of this card. Allowed me to search Brand of Fusion. Um, I play one copy of Rinbrum, and then I play... Uh, this card is actually what you usually make off of Branded Fusion, which sounds weird, uh, but it's a part of the combo that I will show uh, after this. And then I play one copy of um, Brigrand, because it allows you to add a Mercurier to your end board, which is, you know, it's Mercurier. Who doesn't want to add that to their end board? I did play the Quiritus and the Masquerade, because uh, you are... Um, playing, you know, Brennan in red and Polly. So, if you do have an Alibur um, on your field or in Grave, you do want to have fusions to go off into. It's also good um, if you play against a Brennan matchup as a super Polly target as well. So, that's kind of interesting. And then, for the Chimera cards, you play Guardian Chimera. This is like the best Chimera card ever. Um, yeah. And then you have one copy of uh, the Ultra. This card allows you to um, it requires a beast and a fiend, and it allows you to, uh, on summon, it can uh, send a random card during the end phase, um, and then from your opponent's hand, and then um, its name, and while it's in the field or in graveyard, uh, is treated as Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. So it's going to allow you to trigger your main deck monsters to you negate. Uh, and this card is also in the graveyard of Banish to target a Fiend, Illusionist, or a Beast, and special effect. So, you know, it's really good for recursion, uh, and it's really important to the deck. Uh, then I play one copy of Chimera the Illusionist Beast. This is the OTK tool. Uh, it's an Illusionist, and the Illusionist, um, or it's Illusion now, but it's Illusionist, it's in my heart. Um... Mechanic is that the fact that they can not, uh, when it battles, neither party uh, is destroyed by battle. So when you summon this guy, uh, you can swing. If you summon him with three materials, uh, this guy says at the uh, at the end of damage step, it's card battled an opponent sponsor. I can change the uh, opponent sponsors to zero, also when they get its effects, and it can swing up to the number of. Um, up to a number of materials used. So, uh, for example, if a player... Um, I played against someone who was... I forget. Uh, they were on... I think they were... Oh, they were on um, Striker. Uh, Spellbook, they were on Spellbook Striker. And they had an Almirage in their uh, EMZ. And I just killed them because I made three mats and swung in uh, three times with the Amarange with, um, for 9,300. And then I played triple copies of the super poly targets. Uh, I just wanted to have them because they're super poly. Super poly is really good. Um, I also tested it against Labyrinth. Um, and if you go into Labyrinth Garuda, right... Um, there's times where, like, they had Ariana and Thing, and they were, like, set Eradicator, activate, and then they went, before they Eradicated, I went on res, um, with priority, because it's my turn, super probably off both their monsters into, uh, this, so they couldn't Eradicate me, which was just absolutely huge. Um, so, one thing I will say before I, uh, before I go into the combo, um, Radiant is, there's one downside why I was thinking about playing Gamma Seal over this. Um, I like it because it's a fiend, uh, so it does, you know, do good things with um, Chimera. Um, and then the reason why the downside is if you tribute your opponent's monster, um, they can still tribute this for Eradicator, which is kind of annoying. Um, but other than that, it's fine. So... The standard combo is just going to be Branded Fusion. Um, and you start off the combo by activating the Branded Fusion. And you're going to use the effects. Um, 
Now, usually this is where you would summon something else, but we send these two into Rinbrum, Uh which is kind of weird, I know, but um, you kind of have to do it. So once you summon out the Rinbrum, you're going to now uh, use this guy's effect. So since it was sent to the graveyard as a fusion material, it's going to allow you to search your deck for any uh, illusionist monster. So the monster of choice is going to be Cornfield. Now you're going to use the Cornfield discard to add a copy of um, Mirror Sword Knight. And you're going to normal out the Mirror Sword Knight, tribute it off for cost, uh, to summon out from your deck a copy of. Um, where is it? Big Wing Baphomet. And you're going to use the effect Searching Spriggan's Kit and Chimera Fusion. Now we're just going to say these are your other uh, your other cards in hand, because why not? Uh, so you have this cards in hand. Special out Spriggan's Kit. Search from your deck to your hand. The Branded and White. Bottom decking the copy of Radian. And then you're going to use the Chimera Fusion to fusion off these two into a copy of... Where is it? Um, uh, Chimera King of the uh, Phantom Beast. And you're going to use... This is going to be uh, Chain Link 2. And this will be Chain Link 1. So you'll summon back out the... Um, Mira Sword Knight. Um, and then, this isn't great. You're going to use the Chimera Fusion effect to add itself back to your hand. From here, you'll activate the copy of Branded in White using Spriggan's Kit and Fallen of Albaz in your graveyard. So if you use a Dragon, you can banish from your graveyard. You can go into a copy of Lubellion. Lubellion is going to here discard any card in your hand, shuffle itself, and the Fallen into the deck. And that is going to make you your copy of Mira Jade. But while you might think you're done, you're not done yet. Because you can activate Mira Jade, sending for cost the copy of Brigrand. And then you're going to chain um, the copy of uh, Rinbrum to negate it. Um, and then we are going to use here. We're going to choose not to use the effect to bounce. Uh, if you have a copy of like Alibur or something on the field, you can bounce it. Um, but you want this in either field or graveyard. Uh, and then from here, you can set one, move towards end phase, and search your deck for a copy of Mercurier. And then from here, you use this, and it will rip a card out of your opponent's hand. You trigger it. So for your opponent's turn, you have a live Mirror Jade, a Rinbrum, a Mercurier, uh, and a Negate. And then you can go use this to go into Guardian Chimera as well. So that is the deck, and that is also the combo that you can do with just one Brand of Fusion. Dang, that's crazy. That's a lot of interruptions. <laughs> But, um, yeah, before ending this video, uh, yep. do you want to give any shoutouts, Charles? Alright, shoutouts to the uh, Duels Alliance Discord server. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're usually where I test. Uh, so, they're pretty good there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, um, them. Shoutout to anyone who goes to my locals. Um, I'm sorry for going through the pain and suffering of me playing at that locals. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, um, shout out to them, and then shout out to Cyberhorn because uh, he's letting me use his uh, his YouTube channel as a platform to show my amazing decks, along with my hot takes. Um, he's also a great friend. So, yay! Uh, thank, thank you guys thank you. for watching. Of course, um, Yo. you should check out his channel. This is amazing. Um, thank you, thank and also, you. you know, you should like this video. And comment yeah, what no, you think. Don't forget to drop a uh, like. The best deck will be going into <laughs> post-Dune format. 
That is true. And your boys and Cyberhorn92 and Charles is signing out. Talk to you guys later.